I'm Afalabi Hadejumo, embedded in the office of the vice president. Um, I work in the economic stream. Uh, the COVID situation brought upon the nations of the world um, a very severe economic and health consequences. Um, at that time, um, supply chains globally were shut down and this depressed the demand for crude oil, which is a major Nigerian um, export. Part of the responses of the Nigerian government was the formulation of the Economic Sustainability Plan. Now, the Economic Sustainability Plan um, was conceived to be a response in a short term to ameliorate the impact both on the earth and particularly on the economy you know, of citizens and of the country at large. The government's objective through that plan was to stimulate the economy, uh, to make sure that businesses uh, do not go under, to create uh, labour-intensive uh, jobs, uh, also to invest in um, infrastructure development, uh, to encourage uh, manufacturing and local production, and also to uh, cater to the poor and uh, the vulnerable groups in society. The federal government had to um, consider ways in which to respond to this crisis and the focus was to protect and retain jobs, protect uh, the most vulnerable populations in the country and also stimulate local production in order to, to support jobs and the economy. To so mitigate the effects of the COVID-19 pandemic on the Nigerian economy across various sectors, um, while also looking forward and looking at the various um, potential areas that government wants to intervene immediately and areas that, um, um, that require medium-term and long-term um, um, proposed planning for interventions. The plan in itself, you know, because it's actually quite cross-cutting, there's several aspects of the plan that speak to MSMEs, uh, agriculture, um, speak to health, um, uh, just to name a few. Um, also things that uh, around uh, job creation with the 774, uh, which you might have heard about, uh, local government areas uh, creating a thousand jobs of uh, extension workers and health workers, um, you know, who will be supporting this local government. So in a sense, some of those projects have actually taken up those initiatives. Some of the measures include in creating a 500 billion naira intervention fund from savings made in special accounts. It, they also include giving more funding to the health sector, providing cheaper credit and restructuring outstanding loan facilities. As the special assistance on innovation, um, one of the key um, areas that um, had to be focused on was how can we support young people? Um, how can we support people in the technology and creativity sector who are interested in innovating and coming up with, um, coming up with innovative solutions to a lot of the problems that are faced um, across, across the country? Um, so as assistance on innovation, I had to work with a couple of ministries. Um, so I worked with the Ministry of Digital Economy and Communications worked in the Ministry of Youth and Sports Development, and worked in the Ministry of Budget and National Planning um, on coming up with various um, pillars of the Economic Sustainability Plan. To have an economic plan, a lot of economic analysis, a, a, a lot of macroeconomic modeling, a lot of um, assumptions had to be made, and then projections to the effect of the kind of outcome that we had uh, anticipated. So I was involved with the uh, macroeconomic modeling. Um, I was involved also with especially translating the plan into the budget. The 2020 budget essentially was driven by the economic sustainability plan. Uh, uh, I was a part of the team that put the budget together. You, you remember that on the, as a result of COVID, we had to review the budget and then the new estimates that we now had to submit to the National Assembly. In the development of the plan, my role was as one of the um, drafters of the plan, the technical drafters of the plan. So supporting the beneficiary office, and the office of the vice president in, in their convening of the various MDAs to seek inputs into the plan. Um, 
After the drafting of the plan, my role continues to be support to the MDAs engaging with the implementation teams regularly, daily, weekly. Um, the key achievements of the ESP um, um, have been, I mean, the achievements have been, have been quite tremendous and I think um, the impact can be seen in the fact that Nigeria has exited recession uh, much quicker and faster than pundits had, um, had um, predicted. Um, specifically, um, we've been able to, um, under the ESP, drive specific support for, um, for, for digital skills across various sectors so that we're able to provide relevant skills to Nigerians who have, um, I mean, you're an accountant, you're a lawyer, how can you provide your skills within the comfort of your home? With, this, with the COVID-19 pandemic, um, the idea of remote work and working from home is now a lot more welcome by organizations, and we're looking at how to position Nigerian graduates for that. Um, we also have um, um, the support for climate smart agriculture as part of the ESP. So when you look at the work that NITSDA, the National Information Technology Development Agency, has done around adopting villages and providing um, climate smart agri support to farmers within those villages, the ESP is expanding that and funds were also provided to support thousands of um, farmers that will be going into climate smart agri um, to, um, to support Nigeria's move from dependence on fossil fuels and um, other, forms of, um, other forms of energy. Looking at retaining jobs, one thing that comes to mind is support to the MSME sector, which comprises 50% of domestic output in, in this country. So we've been able to provide payroll support to about 300,000 beneficiaries across the country. Um, in addition to that, there was the development of the Rapid Response Register to support urban poor populations. Uh, more recently, uh, we exited recession um, and a lot of that is attributable to some of the things that uh, were implemented in the ESP. The government became an off-taker of a good you know, number of products that came. So government, as a matter of strategic importance, ensured that the output from many of these supported entrepreneurs ended up being purchased by government um, and essentially you know items like the nose mask items like uh, protective gears you know so government was the input and output support so just to ensure that sectors like that you know um, enjoyed massive support the ministry of communications and digital economy have uh, embarked on the national identification uh, number registration it's a very massive uh, project uh, that involves collaboration with uh, the telecom sector and the banking sector. Uh, already uh, about 50 million subscribers have been reached and registered and that is really big because that's a quarter of our population which for comparison uh, for comparison that's more than the population of uh, Ghana for instance. So it's, these are massive projects and these are ongoing with uh, positive uh, implications for our ability to, to, to plan. The support of PDF to the beneficiary office has been significant. The PDF Bridges support has been a foundation that we've used, apart from the direct support for technical assistance, the support for all this kind of policy work and um, all these reports are also very important and they've been critical to the work we've done over time. So, um, PDF Bridge, the support that PDF Bridge pro uh, provided was very critical because of the competencies that are required to actually make this happen. Um, so without PDF Bridge, it would have not been easy to get this done in the time that it happened because the reaction had to be. I think it's important to note that the PDF Bridge projects predates the pandemic, predates COVID-19. And even from that time on, uh, the focus has been on uh, projecting those uh, poverty reduction strategies and inclusive growth strategies. So that when the pandemic happened, it was good that we were already sensitized in this way. So PDF Bridge has, has really been critical in, 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 in this development.